This clip is brought to you by Merrick Health, the premium telehealth network from Derek Moore Plates More Dates. Get your blood work and hormone optimization done under the same roof. Enjoy this clip. You know, when people come off of this stuff, I don't think it's talked about enough, you know? Um, <clears throat> we see all these TRT clinics popping up, and I would imagine for as many people that get on it and get excited and try it, there's probably a lot of people who are like, ah, I don't want to dig, you know, jab myself with this needle and I'm just going to stop doing this. And then they just discontinue the usage, but then they probably don't are unaware of like a protocol uh, okay. of how to kind of come off it. So we spoke about this before. So testosterone now has been, the eyes have been opened a little more of the health benefits of it to the most part. Okay. Now, one of my clients, newer client came to me, you know, DM me, wanted me to help him train whatever. And it came to, usually some people come to me when they're, they're all fucked up. I'm like, it's easy. I give them a top surface shit and they're good. Him, I had to pump down a couple of gears. I'm like, this guy came in shape. He was knowledgeable. He trained. He was kind of jacked. Mm -hmm. Bang, I got to pull it down to like real deep knowledge. So I figured out a solution for his problem. Food, diet, whatever it was, right? I changed it a little bit. A little more than a little bit. Then I get to actually a question that was very top surface. I go, how old are you? He's like, I'm 40 something years old. I'm like, you should go get blood work. You know, he's like, I actually know about testosterone. Whatever. He's like, oh yeah, actually, you know, a doctor prescribed me testosterone. I'm like, and how do You're you like, feel? You're like, that's where we should have fucking started. Right. And I'm like, well, how do, you, how do you feel? He's like, actually, I stopped. I was like, okay. And you, you took a, you know, clomiphene citrate. So he put you on, right? He's like, no, he just had me stop. I'm like, hold on a second. Wait a minute. This is, I've heard this before. This is a medical practitioner prescribing testosterone to someone who has such lack of education to not know to give you something to kickstart your endocrine system. That should not happen. Mm -hmm. They should be more educated. If they have the ability to prescribe something like that, they should know the, the ramifications on the downside of what could happen if you do not prescribe something or help somebody rebuild their body. Yeah. Do you agree with me? Yes. I think also too, you, you're you gonna have to probably warn somebody. You know, like if, if somebody was taking testosterone for a few weeks, and they took it long enough to notice some of the benefits and maybe they were feeling a little bit better or feeling a little bit stronger, but they still just kind of said to hell with it just because they, they just didn't want to do it anymore. Uh, maybe they did have some negative feedback from the amount they were taking or they literally just hated taking the shots and didn't want to do it anymore. You have to warn that person that your mood might change a lot. You might be irritable. You might be depressed. And <clears throat> what if it's a person that already has depression or what if it's a person that already okay. has some anxiety right so it's so a very good question so how we could go around <clears throat> this right so other than taking exo ex exogenous outside source testosterone there are different pathways where people raise their testosterone using a synthetic driver to cause a natural response so let's look at how testosterone is made screw the hcg uh luteinizing hormone tells the lady cells make testosterone so instead of shooting outside source testosterone trt clinics are recognize this from what i've read they use HCG to cause, it's an artificial signal to cause a natural response. So you're elevating your testosterone through a natural pathway. Even though it's driven by mm. a synthetic driver, it's a natural end result. Not as aggressive as you'd get the anger and the rage and all the side effects. So now another thing, let's take nanograms per deciliter in a and human And currently being. you're talking about HCG. Well, HCG <clears throat> is a synthetic driver. Yeah to tell your Leydig cells to make testosterone. Okay. Okay, so what now they're doing, instead, not everybody wants to rub a cream or this, this pellet, whatever they take now or whatever. Mm -hmm. it might be a little bit too androgenic, so everyone has a different uh, genetic response to low or high doses. So I could name, think of people right now, someone I know was taking 150 milligrams, a guy wanted to run through walls, too much for him. So what would be good for him maybe is doing something like HCG. It's a synthetic, it's a synthetic, driver to cause a natural response through your data cells. You follow me? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that, that's my suggestion mm -hmm. for something like that. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us down below there too. So you can get whatever you like from us. All right. Peace.